Kia ora year 12 and 13. This is the first part of the 2013 exam, question 1. So this is going to be hopefully pretty short because it is parts A, B and C, so two achieved questions and a merit question. Alright, so this is the first part. Whoops. Um, we need to anti-differentiate this expression here, which equals 2x to the negative 2 minus x to the negative 3. Okay, because I've only got one number, x cubed, in the bottom line, in the denominator. So using my year 12 differentiation, we're going to be going up a power, so it's going to be something x to the negative 1, and it has to be negative 2x to the negative 1. Okay, so to make this all work. And then on the next bit, it's going to be something x to the negative 2, and I want it to be minus, so it'll be plus one half x to the negative two plus c. Okay, and fine to leave it like that, or you could rewrite it like this negative two over x plus one over two x squared plus c. Okay, on to part b. Right now, in here, we're going to anti differentiate again, so it's just a tiny step up from year 12. Don't be freaked out by the pi, pi is just a number, so it differenti anti differentiates to pi times x. And then e to the power of 2x, well, I want that to end up as minus e to the 2x. So it's going to be minus 1 half e to the 2x plus c. So let's just take a look at why that's happening. When I anti-differentiate e, I get e to the same power. But we've got to think about the reverse chain rule. So if I differentiate e to the 2x... then I'll get 2e to the 2x, but I don't want 2e to the 2x, I want minus one of them, so that's why that ends up in there. Okay, so that's another achieved question. On to part c. Okay, this one's a pretty straightforward kinematics question. We've got an object moving in a straight line. This is the velocity function, v of t. And t is measured in seconds from when the object started moving. So this... The fact that t is defined from when the object was stationary, or not moving, tells me that s of 0 is equal to 0. I'm going to use that condition to find my constant of integration. Okay, so v is velocity. How far does the object travel in its fourth second of motion? So what we're looking for here is the displacement after 4 seconds minus the displacement after 3 seconds. So we need to get s of t, which is going to come from this, the antiderivative of velocity, so that equals 6 minus 5t over t plus 1 dt, right, and when I anti-differentiate that I get 6t minus 5 log t plus 1 plus c. Right, I'm going to use a new slide because we need to figure out what the, what the c is, and then work out these two things here, s at 4 and s at 3. Okay, so we've got s of t is equal to 6t minus 5 log t plus 1. Now, I'm losing my absolute value sign there, by the way, because we know that in this question, t is always going to be positive, so I don't need to worry about the absolute values, plus c, and we have s of 0, equals 0 equals 6 times 0 minus 5 log 1 plus c. So 0 equals 0 minus 0 plus c. c equals 0. And s of t is simply 6t minus 5 log t plus 1. Now we can just substitute in s of 4, which works out to be 24 minus 5 log 5. And s of 3 which is 18 minus 5 log 4. Now, you can get two separate numbers for those if you want to use your calculator, or you can do what I did and work out that that equals 6 minus 5 log 5 plus 5 log 4. Now, I know you're going to be reaching for your calculator at this point, so you know that you could simplify that into a log. Oh, 
I have to do this, 6 plus 5 log of 4 fifths, okay, and that equals 4.88 metres. Okay, so that's, a, I think, a pretty easy merit question. Um, remember the basics of kinematics. We've got S, V, and A, and you need to know how to get from one to another. You also need to make sure you've done lots of practice at spotting the words that are going to help you figure out the um, constant of integration when you're at going backwards. Okay, okay, so that's all for today. Just make sure that you've um, gone through this and done it yourself and not just watched me talking through it. Thanks for watching.